Hi guys, Steve Buzzer here and it is a Friday morning, very early and I am on my way to the Players' Championships at Sawgrass so had a bit of a cry already this morning not through emotion because I'm from England I don't know how to put sun cream on my face so every other day I tend to rub sun cream into my eyes so that's burning really nicely for me but uh, I'm not going to let that ruin my mood we're uh, th probably 30 miles maybe from there. Sounds like there's parking issues. So that suggests that the Tiger effect is a real thing and there's going to be a lot of crowd there. Tiger is off early this morning so we are going to get there relatively early. I reckon around maybe 9, 9.30 and then it could be an absolute mission to get out to see Tiger. Tiger, Phil and Fowler, they're going to be the marquee group out there, everyone's ideas will be go and see them. So it will be interesting to see what like the atmosphere is like around there and uh, more importantly see how the big man does. So that's all I've got to say really now. Let me go watch the event and I will update you. Oh, I'm back from the players and it was fun. You know, Sawgrass, such a beautiful place. Uh, I saw Tiger, so Tiger had an early tea time, so we watched Tiger for a few holes. Um, the one thing I would take from Tiger is swings looking fantastic. Still working on that same, like that cut move. You could, I don't know if you pick it up on TV, but you can see he's still working on that same move that he he's worked with a couple of previous coaches. So he's worried about getting it stuck inside. But of the shots I saw, hit some great shots, uh, made the cut, and more importantly, I think it gave appreciation of how impressive it was, how many cuts he didn't miss, or the streak in which he achieved not missing cuts. Because when you're actually at the event and you're seeing all these players come through, you actually go, wow, so many of them are so close to the cut line, and one bad hole is going to take them completely out of it and you know we we saw that on 17 right at the end of the day uh, Wesley Bryant had played some good golf one bad swing looks like he's gonna miss the cut so yeah that was cool then we went to the 17th so if we go back to my weight loss challenge I said I was gonna try not to eat junk food and I, I succeeded I succeeded so I was gonna try not to drink too much you get in that environment, the 17th hole, and then you meet a fellow that has passes that lets you go into the players, into the tents, etc, etc. So you may have seen me, and please comment. I was behind the 17th tee, kind of at the end of the day when Spieth came through, when Rory came through, those went at that latter point and I was directly in behind the camera so you may have seen me Brooks Kepka was there and I was trying to pose pushing a product that maybe he pushes so if you did see it awesome if you didn't you've missed out but no it, it was a awesome day I would say like if I was to critique the event uh, the only downside was they ran out of parking which is crazy for an event this size, it might be the Tiger effect. Go on my Instagram, you'll see I, I put some videos up actually at the event, and the the Tiger effect is a real thing. And if you don't think it is, you, it's not opinion. You're wrong. You know the the best example we saw uh, that group come into the third hole. Uh, Ricky Fowler, who is a favourite, you know he is very popular hits a great shot in there gets a good response from the crowd tiger hits the identical shot and the crowd are into it you know clapping cheering almost twice as much so it is about tiger people do come out to see tiger so maybe that's the reason why the car parking issues occurred maybe i should have booked a car parking space previous to coming so maybe it's on me but uh, I've had a fantastic day. Uh, the sawgrass layout is spectacular. 
so cool to see 17 in person. Um, I don't think you get the the scope of how many. It is a stadium, a bit like uh, the Phoenix, uh, the Phoenix Open. You know, they have made it into kind of a stadium hole with all the grandstands around. Everyone was having a great time, and the green itself, it, it's weird. And I'm going to leave you with this, and it is weird. When I was by, back behind the tee, I thought, well, I would never miss it. But when I was down by the green, it seemed so surreal to be there. I thought I didn't have the right to step on the green anyway. So maybe I should just chip one in the water and move to 18. 18 was so tight, though. Maybe I should chip one in the water on 17 and then just walk to the clubhouse. But uh, fantastic day. Uh, if you've been to Sawgrass, get some comments down below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Uh, I met a couple people that uh, recognised me, recognised this beautiful chap. But uh, get some comments down below. I'd love to hear what we got to say.